what's up guys and i want to talk about something now that we are getting to a point that uh we're about to soon in a couple years get these avatar movies and avatar shows and stuff i think i just want to show appreciation to a, a sequel show that came out after avatar the last airbender legend of Korra. and now that we're gonna soon get a new avatar coming I think Korra, that, this might be the last time we see Korra for a very long time. And, like, she was a, a good avatar. I just made a video talking about how she saved the airbenders. People don't talk about that. That's a big deal. One of Aang's mistakes became one of Korra's, like, victory. She brought back a whole nation of airbenders. I think I know Tenzin was around, but Tenzin couldn't save the whole airbenders. So, yes, I think that's a very big deal. I think people need to give Korra her props, and she beat a Mon, Zaheer, uh, Unalak, just, it, it was just a lot of stuff, I mean, she did her thing, Kuvira, she had a good run, now she wasn't as good as Aang, and it's hard to be just as good as Aang, Aang was just a goat too, but she did stuff too that was really cool, it's a bunch of iconic scenes in Korra, and People need to just look at the good stuff sometimes, man. Not the bad stuff. It's always the negative always overshadows the positive moments. When I think of core, I think of... I remember being in school and this was like fifth grade or something. And I would come home Friday and I would go to Nick.com and I would check out Legend of Core Season 4. And it was just such a fun... Uh, just fun to watch that season, man. It was fun. Season 3, of course, was an excellence. And hearing them was killing it. Season 1, a mom was a straight-up menace. And then, I just loved Korra, man. But, uh, just appreciate Korra, Korra, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Anime Boom Out Beast.